Woo. You will never need another lover. Woo. Cause you a milf and I'm a mother. Dude, what is he saying? Please ignore Moana playing in the background. We have had a long day. But this guy on a dating app just asked for my phone number and I gave it to him. He sent me a very normal, hey, it's James, what are you up to? And I said, James, hello, good sir. I don't know why he said that, except that I didn't sleep last night and I'm really, be quiet! She looks very tired and I can guess she has a son. That's a son banging things out there. So if you're a man, you decide to date and want to be with these uh, single moms, you have to be a patient guy because they have so much on their plate. So be patient with these kind of uh, women. And here's the thing. If you become a divorced mother in your mid to late thirties, I want you to recognize that you are going to witness other women who are similar to you, who are snagging the young bucks, okay? They are robbing the cradle. They're getting the guys who were barely alive when 9-11 happened. And that's all fine and dandy. But I'm here to tell you as one of those bitches that it's not all that it's chalked up to be, okay? It's actually not all that great. I mean, my family is harassing me left and right, asking what I'm doing, wondering why I look so old, standing next to this little baby boy. I mean, I got humbled real quick this morning when my mom called and said that she made me an appointment to get Botox so I don't look so old next to him. This is just the reality, ladies, okay? And I don't feel like I even look that old for my age. But listen, when it looks like you could be nursing your son and your new man at the same time, this is a problem. This is a problem and it's become a problem for me. The young men in their early 20s, this is actually a growth phase. You get to have fantasies. How is it like to get with somebody that's older than you? And these guys are in their early 20s. They get to want to date people that are older than them, people that are in their late 20s, early 30s. So it's a growth phase. And if you've gone through this phase, how was it like? How was your experience? Share in the comment section, yeah. There are certain realities that women who are dating who have a child and there's not a man that is present, Okay, whether that means a single mother or a divorced mother, I just learned that there's a difference between the two. There are harsh realities. Number one, it is limited options, okay? A lot of men don't prefer to date women with children. It's just, or with even with a child. It's just the, the reality of it. So we have to be mindful of the fact that our options are limited. Number two, your conduct in how you deal with men is very important. You now have children watching you conduct yourself in your relationships, making certain decisions. So it is very, very important for you to be aware of how you conduct yourself in the relationship. Because there's a child that's present, you have to be very, very careful about the men that you bring around your children. I mean, that is number one. You have to be more careful than you've ever been about who you choose to bring into your life. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a single mom at all. But here's where the problems start to arise off the get. You are so far down the list on priorities that it almost doesn't even make sense to even message them. So what comes first? Kids. Second, job. Third, family. Fourth, friends. Fifth, hobby. If they have a dog, the dog's definitely up in there somewhere. Then they have just their me time because if you're a single parent, you just spend a lot of time at work and with the kids. So then you get a day off and you just want to be by yourself. Some of them even work multiple jobs. So why are they even on a dating app? Because they have no time for you. It's quite simple. They're lonely. They're at home at night um, and they don't have anything to do. So they want validation from men. Like I said, you have to be a patient man to date single moms. <laughs> My thing, I really think that people need to know even with dating people with children mm -hmm. is the misconception that you're gonna be the father. Like, I think a lot of people think, oh, when oh. you're dating me, yeah, now yeah, you're yes. my child's father. Like, I want you yeah, to play the yeah, role yeah, of yeah. dad yeah. to my daughter. Yeah, and I think that good. a lot of people feel that pressure. Like, I don't wanna go into this dating dynamic because now I feel like I'm gonna be, either you're gonna play mom mm -hmm. or I'm gonna play, you're gonna play yeah. dad. And I, I think that's one thing I wanna make sure we say is like, There's no. Levels to this. Yeah. Yeah. You, you more like an uncle. Yeah. Really, yeah. you like, yeah. like an uncle that comes. <laughs> Wow, she got it, daddy. Dating a single mom is hard. She'll cancel dates, short text, and not reply. She has no time to put you first. A woman who puts her child before you should make you respect her more. Be patient with her. Take her out. She's not flaking. Childcare costs more than the date you take her on. It's not about money. Spoil her with time. 
Show her you appreciate all the sacrifices she makes for her child with no help. Be her consistency, and eventually she'll be your everything. So I've been dating as a single mom for a while, and one of the hardest things has been how lonely it is. Um, people who are just single and dating don't get it. People with kids don't get it. Married people don't get it. I think the only people who get it are single parents dating. It's just a challenge that you have to walk through to be able to relate to someone. I have one single mom friend, and I am so thankful for her. That being said, my other friends I will talk to about my dating life, but I kind of take what they say with a grain of salt. Anyone who has not been in the dating pool, in my opinion, in the last two years, does not understand what the modern dating pool is like. One thing that has been odd and kind of funny to me is the weird like milf fetish thing that a lot of guys have, okay? So like I talked about in the last video, you'll get ghosted by guys and then you'll have guys that don't care that you're a mom. There's also guys who don't wanna date you seriously because you're a mom, but then they think the mom thing is really hot and so they do still wanna talk to you and try to sleep with you. So you have to figure out uh, like, where that middle ground is okay like I was actually facetiming this guy last night who I have a date with this weekend and he just told me he was like the mom thing is hot and most men are attracted to it and I was like why why do y'all think it's hot he said I literally don't know he said but I've never met a guy who didn't think it was hot so it, it's it's hard sometimes to figure out where that middle ground is but you just got to do your best and that's why we keep boundaries up and that's why we don't catch feelings and we don't sleep with them and that leads me to my next point of facetiming before the first date i try to always have a facetime call before the first date why i'm a single mom i don't have a lot of time to actually go out facetime helps me know whether or not number one i'm actually attracted to him it's you know pictures can be deceiving and voices really matter to me so sometimes a guy's voice is icky to me and then i don't want to meet him i know that's kind of a weird thing but if you can get a guy to facetime you i think it's really really good to, to eliminate them that way dating and talking is an elimination round i mean that's what we're doing we're trying to figure out which ones we want to get to know one time i had a date plan with this guy i thought he was really attractive i thought we were really going to get along and then we facetimed and i swear to you he looked at me like i was something to eat the entire call i felt so uncomfortable and afterwards i texted him and canceled the date i was like i don't want to meet this guy last but certainly not least if you can afford it you should be in therapy it is so helpful to learn what your boundaries should be how to navigate baby daddy relationship and how to avoid getting into another toxic situation I saw a video of these girls writing their mom's boyfriends from her di her divorce and <laughs> I've been asking the girls to do that because I just wanted to see what they thought about my boyfriends ever since my divorce so let's see I've been divorced since 2011 and <laughs> the girls are gonna rate all my exes starting with their father it's been 12 years since she was divorced and I'm curious to know how many people she's dated in that span of time. <laughs> Are you not? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> okay. That photo is really bad, but dad, he's, he's okay. It's just like, he's always mad about something. Always something with him. Like, <laughs> seven. <laughs> yeah, okay. You gave your dad a seven? <laughs> This is Andrew. Ooh. That photo is really scary. <laughs> and he, oh. uh, he took away our cute bulk beds. <laughs> yeah. That's what you remember? And he put my room down in the basement when I was like You guys six. remember that? Yes. Yeah. Like, why put a six-year-old in the little basement when it's dark and cold? Whoa. And Weird. Yeah, they were. This was the first boyfriend I had after my divorce, and she was desperate. The girls were really young. <laughs> This is Anthony. He was probably my mom's longest boyfriend. They broke up like once or twice, but then they got back together. And he, um, after they broke up the second time and she moved back to Colorado, he already got married again. So, <laughs> and she's been wanting that. And <laughs> yeah, we moved across the country because of him. Okay, enough of that. This is Grant. He was after Anthony the first time after they broke up because Anthony broke up with her on Valentine's Day. We don't need to get at into a, the details. Out of sleepover when we we're having our friends over, and then him, he he moved I from like Alaska. 
I liked his dog. And then he left one day. All his stuff was gone. His dog was gone. And <laughs> he just left. <laughs> I kicked him out, okay? Oh, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought he just left. I, no, dude. I kicked him out. Uh. Um, Luis really isn't that bad. He wasn't that bad at the beginning because, like, he always do nice stuff, like, bring us food or straighten her hair. But that was only after, nice. Okay, whatever. Shut up. And then after a little bit, he just, like, was annoying. He always call and like he still does. Yeah, he still does. <laughs> and like I don't know, they'd always argue and it was just like tiring. And she's always like, no, I hate him. But oh. <laughs> it's boring. So oh, hold on. Okay, so then which one was your favorite? Oh, probably Anthony. Anthony? Really? Yeah. Because he'd bring us places and we always do stuff with them. And his parents are cool. Yeah, so. he had a nice family. I was not expecting you to say that. Yeah, and he. To the side when I move, call you mind and I know what you're feeling. What you feel? I'ma take it for a ride. Let me take it off your mind, cause you know it's a season. And I move, and I move, and I move when I ride. If you're a man or a woman and you've been raised by a single mom, let me know in the comment section. Uh, how is it like? been raised by a single parent and also uh, for the single moms also let me know in the comment section how is it like you, out there for you in the dating uh, world how is it like for you and let me know in the comment section and uh, if you have somebody that's uh, you're happy with let me know in the comment section and for the guys also if you're dating a single mom maybe uh, also some pointers in the comment section maybe for those people that have met single moms might want to know certain things that they should do and they shouldn't do i mean it can be a learning point in the comment section so let me know in the comment section and for those people also that say like they can't date uh, a single mom let me know in the comment section your reasons as to why you uh, you can't do that in some of the things maybe you found or you experienced this can be a learning point here i'm benzo subscribe to my channel and thumbs up i'll see you in the next one out